Mm. Proud sons of the north. Ну чё, Егор здесь еще, или он уже все? Твое видео подоспело. Ну, смотрим, Ольга. Greetings. <coughs> surprise flex. It was quite a long time since I performed a glorious surprise flex. <laughs> This is gonna be a fun video. Hello boys. I get a lot of people on YouTube calling me beta, and I'm still not sure what that means. But I try to be open to criticism, so I've decided that what I need is an uncucked alpha hero to set me straight. And I think I've found just the man. His name is the Golden One. Fucking massive. That's what I am. Fucking massive. That's what you are. But if you're gonna teach me to be alpha, you're gonna need to be more than fucking massive. I mean, you'd have to be the glorious valiant champion of modern Europe, the ever chosen of the gods, the golden son of mother nature. I actually do claim to be the glorious valiant champion of modern Europe. I do claim to be the ever chosen of the gods, the golden son of modern nature. You might find that ridiculous, but then again, look at me now. You make a fair point. I want you to act as I act, and I want you to follow my example. I am ready to begin the training, Master. But first, let us awaken our masculinities by bathing nude together in the purifying waters of Lake Malarin. <laughs> How to prepare an alpha bath. First, fill the bath with purifying Swedish lake water. Pour one pitcher of elven rose water. Light the flames of Logi. Add a pitcher of milk of the Fenris wolf. And now... It's time. <laughs> So tell me, proud son of Sweden, what does it mean to be alpha? Alpha also, in my sense of the word, is more like your cool, masculine, you know, being that fucking force of nature. If I say this fucking alpha Urukai, I don't mean that he has a high social standing. I mean, you know, look at him. It's fucking fwa, go time. That's what it is. Fwa. I think I'm starting to get this. So being alpha <laughs> means being cool and masculine. <laughs> well. I don't know what could possibly be more alpha than this. <laughs> Hell yeah. I just poured a liter of wolf's milk on my face. Consider this twink uncooked. If you're part of my fucking tribe, and if you're gay, that's fine. Well, I'm not gay. Why would you think that? It's cool, as long as you're not, uh... Это при том, что я, блядь, это видео смотрел уже дважды, нахуй. В том числе в озвучке госпожи М, блядь. Prancing around, uh, teaching degenerate behavior to younger people. Well, I can assure you, there will be none of that on this channel. With that said, gay pride and gay propaganda, I'm not a proponent for that because there is no reason to promote sex in public. You know, I'm glad someone's finally saying something, because for my part, I find that kind of thing disgusting, and I'm glad someone's finally taking a stand against it. Sex <laughs> is supposed to be intimate and private, so that makes me resent gay pride, gay parades, and stuff like that. Exactly. See, we're on the same page. I don't know why <laughs> gay people need to always be kissing in public, making a big spectacle of themselves <laughs> when um, straight people <laughs> We, we managed to keep our sexuality in the bedroom, you know? Oh, uh, pass the oil, would you, Lars? My, uh, balls are getting dry. <laughs> we must stand erect as Odin's spear in defiance of the gay agenda. Well, this is all good fun. If you become drunk, you have committed a terrible sacrilege, and you will pay for it with your life. Oh. Okay. 
Not sure what that has to do with being masculine, but... Today I want to discuss the Jewish question, the ethnic question, the Wait, old what? pride. <laughs> Jewish question? Watson, Hold on. I thought to make this video... <laughs> what have you done to me? You're a goddamn fascist. And oh boy is he. And I don't mean fascist in the meaningless way people throw the term around for anyone they disagree with. I mean he is a committed white nationalist who thinks that all non-whites should be expelled from Europe. He has a video about the Jewish question, and he even talks about the big H. For the golden one, masculinity, nationalism, racialism, anti-feminism, and occult neo-Nazi paganism are all united in one belief system he calls taking the glorious pill. Now for the sake of moving on with this video, I'm not gonna argue that it's wrong to be a Nazi. I'm just gonna assume it. And it should always be okay to assume Assume that being a Nazi is wrong. I thought this was one of the three biggest lessons from the last thousand years of Western history. You know, don't invade Russia, don't allow a ship to dock if everyone on board has died of the plague, and don't allow nationalism to gain traction in Europe. But here we are. Anyway, this video is supposed to be about alpha males, so let's try to move on. Wait a minute. The Golden One has a new video. It's called Fash Skyrim, which I guess is like fascist Skyrim, and I warned you about this. Apprentices of the Frankfurt School and Hillary supporters. Well, you've got to watch this. Here's another one of those uh, feminists who don't believe in the patriarchy. Uh, I'm gonna take her mead uh, and uh, celebrate the victory of of, uh, of Donald Trump. Uh... Gentle women of the jury. Alpha male exhibit number one is a LARPing Swedish fascist who plays Skyrim so that he can pretend he's killing feminists and the Frankfurt School. No further questions. So I know I might be accused of straw manning if my only example of an alpha male is an adorably ridiculous bodybuilding Nazi whose ideas about women are dictated directly to him by his teddy bear. Teddy, how can one obtain a fair maiden? Uh-huh, okay. Can one also obtain understanding of the nature of women? Okay, so Teddy says that in order to truly understand the nature of women, we must first retake Constantinople from the Ottoman Empire. for self-proclaimed alpha males who aren't raving lunatics and, well, take a look at what I've come up with. There's Davis Arini. And when you look at these social justice warrior freaks, okay, with their, their blue hair and their obesity and their low testosterone and their sexual perversity and their STDs and their useless degrees and their criminal histories. No. There's Rouge. Every man in this room is on the hook for rape for sex that is not rape. No! Uh, there's this kangaroo and this guy. Red pill philosophy. Because at the end of the day, sex, you're going to be impaling her with your ugly engorged penis. There's nothing pretty about that. No pretty boy, okay? Um, Chris. I don't want to embarrass you, and uh, I know that you're the dating expert, I'm not questioning your authority, but you might want to take the bicycle helmet off before telling any women that you want to impale them on your hideous and gorged member. <laughs> Now one trend I'm noticing with these alpha guys is they're all mildly to extremely racist. Let's be frank, white people are the least racist people on the planet. 
There should actually be more. Блять, мы не одобряем. Blacks being shot by police. To... Блять, мы не одобряем, мягко говоря. Вообще очень сильно не одобряем. To other races. No white American wants to see American cities turn black. But why are they all racist? What is the connection between alpha and racism? Well, here's one idea. Calling yourself alpha basically means that you fetishize male dominance, which likely means that you're extremely anti-feminist. And extreme anti-feminism is often coupled with racism because these beliefs are not as separate as they seem. In fact, they form two parts of the white nationalist worldview, where the third part is anti-semitism. The anti-semitism... Ну, справедливости ради, возможно, что эти взгляды, они объединены просто потому, что антирасизм и там защита прав этнических меньшинств, она всегда идет почему-то рука об руку с феминизмом. То есть тут, возможно, опять-таки проблема в том, что противоположные взгляды, они все соединены, а вот так вот, и поэтому вот эти вот уебаны, они тоже кучкуются. This leads to anti-feminism on the one hand, because feminism is seen as a threat to traditional gender roles that make white women subservient and loyal to white men. Non-white races are viewed... Не, 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 uh, <coughs> мисогинию это не объясняет. Тут идет натягивание савы на глобу. ...is a threat to the purity of white women, because they're often viewed as barbaric, dangerous, unclean, and brutish. This is why xenophobes place so much emphasis on the sexual danger non-white immigrants pose to white women, and it's why you'll see endless discussion of news events that validate this fear in white nationalist circles. <coughs> But notice that this worldview is in need of an explanation for why the supposedly inferior races pose such a serious threat to the supposedly superior whites. Well, this is where the Jews come in. Anti-Semitism is different from other forms of racism in that instead of being resented for being supposedly brutish and stupid, the Jews are resented for being smart, but in an evil, duplicitous, cunning sort of way. So the idea is that a Jewish elite is poisoning white society with ideas like multiculturalism, feminism, and cultural Marxism, thereby leaving it vulnerable to the so-called third world. Нет, феминизм не идет рука об руку с фемдомом, Е479. Наоборот, <laughs> кстати. And it seems to me that this worldview is becoming increasingly common, which is worrying, since, funny though it may be on the fringe, with the wrong mix of power and desperation, the conclusion of these people's worldview is genocide. Ugh, this video has gotten dark. Remember how fun this video was when we started? I guess it's a dark world, uh, so... Another thing I've noticed about these guys is that none of them is especially high on the social hierarchy. The term <coughs> alpha is used by ethologists to describe animals at the top of the... Не, ну как раз таки the golden one, у него-то все в порядке. То есть опять взял, как бы всех смешал по какому-то условному признаку. The golden one, он, он качок, блядь, у него стабильный доход, значит, у него баб духуя. То есть и ты его смешал, посы... смешала, извиняюсь с каким-то инцелом, блядь, в велосипедном шлеме, который рассказывает, какой у него хуй большой. Как, как бы, ну, типа, серьезно, это, это немного не одно и то же. Потому что The Golden One, это как, блядь, если бы Джонни Браво был скином, нахуй. Ну, типа, нет, нет, это так не работает. Я понимаю, конечно, что все хочется записать вот э, в этот вот клуб э, неудачников, уебанов, которые просто пишут хуйню в интернете э, про, значит, <coughs> более успешных людей, чем сами, из зависти. Но про Golden One так очень сложно сказать, блядь. Типа у него все есть. То есть я даже не представляю, что у него может такого нихуя не доставать в жизни, что из-за этого у него будет жопа гореть от существования евреев. То есть это, ну... Глупость. Ну, то есть, ну, я не знаю, как бы, что такое выдумать-то. Что у него... Как бы, Из-за чего у него жопа-то гореть может, в принципе? Мозга? Не, люди, у которых нет мозга, как правило, не горюют по этому поводу. Потому что у них нет мозга, чувак. А отсутствие, блядь, рассудка, да, и отсутствие способности думать, оно... У него есть положительная сторона. Оно не позволяет тебе распознать отсутствие в самом себе способности думать, так что все хорошо, все в порядке. То есть именно что, как бы из-за чего его жопа догореть может, ресентимент это там откуда взяться-то, блядь. 
Типа, его все заебись. Остальные, понятно, да, согласен, что они нищие, это видно по качеству съемки и по там, их машинам, по одежде и так далее. Вот, и они криво разговаривают, хотя у них английский родной язык и так далее. Вот, и там этнические всякие моменты в случае с вот пикапером этим бородатым. Вот, а Golden One-то что? Как бы? Он белый, блядь. Качок при деньгах с половыми партнерами. Я так понимаю, ему женщины больше заходят. Но вот у него как бы их духуя. Эм... Как, как бы... Не понимаю, как он вписывается во всю, во всю эту хуйню. Э, то есть помимо того, что у него взгляды похожи. Опять натягивание совы на глобус. But that must not be the way these people use the word, because, well, they're kind of a bunch of fringe weirdos. The people who are actually alpha are people like Warren Buffett and Obama, people who these guys tend not to like. Speaking of which, don't you dare fucking claim to be alpha in the comments or response to this video. YouTubing is an inherently epsilon activity, and leaving comments is positively omega. So let's maybe look beyond YouTube from here on. What I find when I Google alpha male is a mix of pickup artists, dating coaches, and self-help gurus, all claiming to turn their beta followers into alphas so they can finally get mad pussy. There's also a bunch of articles by people who can actually write, debunking the whole concept, usually mentioning the fact that it encourages men to think like Elliot Roger. It turns out that the 1947 study that introduced the idea that wolf societies are organized around alpha males has been discredited and disavowed by the author because it was based on the behavior of captive wolves. And не, ну есть такое, возможно, понятие альфа, оно как бы не очень охуенно описывает происходящее, да, то есть понятие там альфа, бета, омега. Но то, что люди физиологически и там по мозгу отличаются, блядь, и то, что популяция людей, она как бы иерархически, и, иерархически устроена, и эта иерархия физиологически обусловлена, ну с этим довольно тяжело спорить. Ну, типа, серьезно. Какая у тебя альтернативная, может быть, картина мира? То, что Иисус всех создал, блядь. То, что все остальное, оно не работает. Оно просто не когерентно. Про всякие социальные отношения и прочую хуйню непонятные. Люди созданы из мяса, как бы... <coughs> Белок по этому мясу распределяется по принципам, которые заложены в генетическом коде. Какие социальные отношения, нахуй? И детерминированы, как бы, вот, тем, из чего они созданы. То есть, э, печалька. Sure, not even wolves can be divided into alphas and betas, and there's certainly no scientific evidence to suggest that humans can. So what alpha looks like to me is a pseudoscientific term used by guys who don't have a lot going for them to inflate their wounded masculinity. I'm noticing... Ну, это типа устаревшая наука, примерно как типология Ламброза, там, френология какая-нибудь. Расология, Гюнтер. I say selling because it's only a matter of time before these guys try to sell you some kind of dietary supplement or 12-step seduction system that's supposed to increase your testosterone and make women attracted to you because god you're lonely and desperate and you don't know how to express it because you were raised in an atmosphere of toxic masculinity that emotion Да, когда вам пытаются продать всякие таблетки для того, чтобы вы стали мужиком блеять, э не надо, не надо в этом вообще ничего покупать. На всякий случай, если среди моих зрителей есть полные долбоебы, не покупайте такой хуйни, не надо. Это, это волшебные бобы, блядь, из сказки про Джека. Вас, вас наебут, как бы. Вот. Единственное, что имеет смысл пить, витамины, блядь, и то осторожно. Рыбий жир какой-нибудь. Ни, ни, ничего пизже, и надежнее и безвреднее рыбьего жира придумано не было пока что. Вот. Никакой тестостерон колоть тоже не надо, блядь. Там побочные эффекты такие, что ты ебанешься. 
and taught you that aggression is the only acceptable outlet for your inner pain. And these guys all talk about women like they're mysterious mermaids from another planet, which is not really the way guys who have good relations with women tend to talk about them. In my experience, women are attracted to confident guys, but not to guys who insecurely brag about how confident they are, and definitely not to guys who post lunatic racist ramblings on the internet. The sad thing is it doesn't have to be this way. Some of these guys could do better. I actually kind of like the golden one. I like his muscles, I like his costumes, I like Skyrim and big weapons and cool manly stuff, and he's actually pretty funny and can probably be pretty popular with women if he just quit the Nazi shit that's kind of ruining his life. А почему ты считаешь, что у него как бы женщин нет? Как ты вообще себе это представляешь? Ну типа серьезно. То есть, ну, come on. Потому что ладно бы, если бы он еще был полным долбоебом. То есть если бы The Golden One был полным идиотом, не смешным, как бы, но при этом выглядел бы так же, то, ну, может быть, да, как бы... Ему может не вести, да, в такой ситуации. Ну, блядь, он как бы не, не идиот при этом, книжки читает, он смешной. Типа, у него с женщинами все в порядке, можешь успокоиться и не переживать за него. Типа, ну, серьезно, кого? Это, это выглядит просто странно, какая-то очень, очень странная проекция. У меня есть подозрение, что контрапоинте просто тяжело э, мужчин клеить. Извиняюсь, я не хочу никого полить, но типа... Когда трансгендер начинает э, упрекать качка в отсутствии женщин, э, по-моему, тут очевидно есть немножко проекции. Минута до конца стрима. He sponsor after sponsor because of it, and you can tell he makes other sacrifices for his political views. It's almost mm -hmm. admirable, or at least it would be if his political views weren't completely abhorrent and wrong. So for the rest of you, I'd advise finding a better role model. Don't go around calling people betas. No one is. Ладно, мы, короче, досмотрели это видео, а это самое время прощаться. Деньги не плати, деньги не плати, деньги не плати, не деньги, деньги не плати, деньги не плати, деньги не плати, не деньги. А сейчас танцуем, а сейчас танцуем. А сейчас не плати, не плати, не деньги.